weather here on Mount Rainier is really unpredictable. Before I left Mount Lake, it says it was supposed to be sunny up to my last day. And off to Mystic Lake, which is 7.8 miles. When you think you can't get any closer to Matt Rainier. There she is. I don't know, can you see that marmot? She is. Let me zoom up here if I can. Oh, zoom. Hold on. All right. Can you see him? He is right there. Looks like uh, the ledge of Lion King. <laughs> okay. Six point six miles. Okay, I know I already heard you the first time. <laughs> So this morning, I uh, didn't eat my breakfast. I just had one of those energy bars. I didn't get to enjoy my hot chocolate. I just wanted to get everything packed up and just go in case a downpour was about to happen, which it did not, thankfully. Um, but being that uh, 3F UL Match Jam 110, was really, it's less than two pounds, about around 28 ounce, about 30 plus, including the tent, uh, tent pegs. But it's really confining trying to pack everything in that tent. But I left the camp at 741. I got 6.6 .6 miles left to go, which should probably take me about three hours to get there. So, yeah, I mean, look, I think right there, I guess it's turning that way, is the closest I will ever get to Mount Rainier. I was thinking it was way back there, but I was wrong. And I'm still wearing my rain jacket. I still have my uh, makeshift trash bag as my rain cover. Oh, I should probably tell you about that. you can see path goes this way you can see the outline of the path let me focus that if I can it's going up there I think going around yeah, I'm not too sure where this appears to but you know when you can't get any better views and you walk up up the hill and you see this. This is the closest I get to Mount Rainier.
day that I started uh, Malwich, um, I was repacking my uh, the stuff into my bag and it started sprinkling. When I was done, it started to pour. And as I was sitting in my car for five minutes, I was like, I, I can't, I can't stay here. I gotta go. And luckily, in my car, I had a trash bag and uh, packaging tape. And so what I did with that was I used, I cut the trash bag in half, put it over my uh, backpack, and where your back meets the back of the backpack, that's where I taped it with the packaging tape, and that made my uh, makeshift pack cover. And you'll see that on the day one video. And that, that trash bag has been the most used item on this trail, more than my stove. I use it for um, sitting down when it's wet. I use it when I grab water from the stream or lake and lay it outside the tent when I'm sleeping. I use it to put clothes on top of the on top of it when it's on the ground so it doesn't get wet. I was thinking of uh, when I was at sunrise to go ahead and throw it away. Um, I'm so glad I didn't do that. And uh, I just remembered. Oh, for the people that's going clockwise on this direction. This is probably going to be the longest uphill on this whole trail. Just think, about four hours ago, I was probably on the other side of that mountain. I think about a mile and a half to camp. Nothing but rocks. Man, I hate rocks. Somebody left her cap. No. And there's some more rocks. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and take this with me. I'm gonna leave it out here. Maybe it's the next campground. 157, made it. Ooh. I think we're in the middle of nowhere, to be honest with you. The water source for uh, Mystic Camp is very, very back past camp number six on your left. So I'm at campground number one at Mystic Lake. Um, I heard that they have an awesome bathroom slash pretty be here but I'll show you guys that either tonight or tomorrow morning. Um here's the tent. Unfortunately it is starting to sprinkle light drizzle. Uh since I didn't have breakfast, I'm actually gonna have breakfast. And here's that cap I found earlier. Um I passed six hikers and it doesn't belong to anybody. And I'm having my uh biscuit and gravy I had this morning for dinner. Um I feel like I'm force feeding myself well, hiking because I eat a lot of snacks, but when I get to to the campground, I'm not really that hungry. But you need to eat, you know, just for the calories, for the body. Yeah, the weather is really unpredictable because it wasn't even supposed to rain at all. I'm hoping tomorrow is not going to be um, a rainy day, be a sunny day. To finish off my uh, 10 day. Uh, on the land trail. Okay. See you guys tomorrow.